what's going on y'all i got a message coming from acts chapter 9 verses 1 through 9 and this is a message for someone who is trying to right their wrongs someone who is trying to right their wrongs someone who is going to right their wrongs okay this message is for someone who threatened and slaughtered not just the children of god but the prophets of god those closest to god this person made it their mission to place prophets under restraint, whether men or women, to hinder them by placing them in a certain situation while they were supposed to be in peace. But on this person's journey or mission to destroy, they will come across someone who will help them and show them the light. They could possibly see this person as an angel. This is someone they tried to subject to hostility and ill treatment because of who they were. The person sent to help may have asked, why are you treating me this way? Why do you try to hurt me? And the Lord asked this person, why do you resist incontestable facts and authority? This person can hear from God. The Lord says, this person knowing something to be true, but resisting the truth and denying the truth, causing hurt or damage to themselves by trying to change something that, th that cannot be changed, trying to change the Lord's will, denying his authority. After hearing from the Lord, they asked the Lord, what is it that you want me to do? And the Lord said, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told to thee what thou must do. There will be people around this man who will be speechless about his obedience. They will know this man is following the, the voice of the Lord, those closest to him. This man was blind at first, but now his eyes have been opened at this time of his eyes being open, open, he was most likely alone. But the Lord will lead him by the hand back to his helper, his helpmate. The Lord will tell him exactly what to do. This man has been fasting for sight to see the truth. A three-day dry fast, no food or drink, so that he can better hear, see, and understand what the Lord is leading him to do. The Lord gave me the number 1831. And it means to go, to come out of properly. It also means juice, wine, and or oil. And he gave me the word firstborn. So it's possible that, you know, either this person has, someone has been drinking juice and somebody has been drinking wine. Okay. Um, and this is also a message for the firstborns. Okay. So maybe this man is a firstborn. And maybe his helpmate is a firstborn. I don't know. But 1831, to go, to come out of properly. So the Lord is telling someone to, to go and to come out of a situation properly. And that's the message from Acts chapter 9, verses 1 through 9. Peace.